And I have here with me uh, Mr. Karl Lemaji. Uh, he is the advisor of advi uh, IFES for Asia Pacific. And um, Karl, uh, share with us, you know, as a person from outside of ASEAN, uh, what, what we as DPO should do to ensure that this master plan, which has been worked on for two years or more, how do we how do we make sure that it will be fully implemented by 2025? Thank you very much. I, um, I I'm happy to give my perspective as a as an outsider, and I want to express my congratulations to uh, all the the disabled people's organizations uh, who've worked so hard for 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 this day um, and the, the, the launch of the master plan. Um, I think you're absolutely right to be looking forward. Um, we've launched the master plan, uh, but that's just the beginning. Uh, now the implementation starts, which is the hard, <laughs> the hard part. Um, from my, my perspective as an outsider, I think one of the most innovative things about this whole master plan endeavor was the interaction between the stakeholder community and ASEAN officials, um, also government officials from the ASEAN member states as well. I think if, if you can continue to pull these groups together and, and continue the momentum, um, the momentum that was coming from the drafting process into implementation by continuing to engage, uh, continuing to have dialogue, um, that's how you're going to make sure that the implementation uh, goes successfully. Okay, Carl, so thank you very much for that uh, perspective. And uh, we, uh, representative of DPOs, are uh, grateful with the support given. And uh, we hope we can work together to ensure that this master plan will be fully implemented. And we'll be here in 2025 to celebrate our success. <laughs> Congratulations again. Yeah, thank you, Carl. Thank you.